What do you think about the new policies? They seem effective and necessary. Any concerns or suggestions? Not at the moment. They look good. Are we reorganizing the office space? Yes, to improve workflow. Where will my desk be? You'll be closer to the window. Are we reorganizing the office space? Yes, to improve workflow. Where will my desk be? You'll be closer to the window. Can you help choose a gift for our top client? Sure. What's the occasion? Their company's anniversary. Let's pick something thoughtful and business appropriate. Can you help choose a gift for our top client? Sure. What's the occasion? Their company's anniversary. Let's pick something thoughtful and business appropriate. What's the process for handling client feedback? It should be logged and then discussed in the team meeting. Do we respond to the client directly? Yes, after discussing it with the team. What's the process for handling client feedback? It should be logged and then discussed in the team meeting. Do we respond to the client directly? Yes, after discussing it with the team. Do you want to join the office book club? What are they reading? This month it's a mystery novel. I love mysteries. Count me in. Do you want to join the office book club? What are they reading? This month it's a mystery novel. I love mysteries. Count me in. Are there any incentives for carpooling? Yes, the company offers reserved parking spots. That's a great initiative. It encourages us to be eco-friendly. Are there any incentives for carpooling? Yes, the company offers reserved parking spots. That's a great initiative. It encourages us to be eco-friendly. I'll be out of the office tomorrow. Do you need any work covered? Could you handle my emails? Sure, no problem. I'll be out of the office tomorrow. Do you need any work covered? Could you handle my emails? Sure, no problem. Do you need help installing the new software? Yes, I'm not sure how to do it. I can show you. It's easy. That would be great. Thanks. Do you need help installing the new software? Yes, I'm not sure how to do it. I can show you. It's easy. That would be great. Thanks. Have you completed the health and safety training? Yes, I finished it yesterday. Was it informative? Very much so. I learned it a lot. Have you completed the health and safety training? Yes, I finished it yesterday. Was it informative? Very much so. I learned it a lot. Are you participating in the office fitness challenge? Yes. Have you signed up? I'm thinking about it. What does it involve? Just tracking our steps daily. Are you participating in the office fitness challenge? Yes. Have you signed up? I'm thinking about it. What does it involve? Just tracking our steps daily. Where should we go for our business lunch? How about the new sushi place? Sounds good. I heard it's great. I'll make a reservation. Where should we go for our business lunch? How about the new sushi place? Sounds good. I heard it's great. I'll make a reservation. Do we have enough budget for our team this quarter? It's tight, but we can manage. Should we cut any costs? Maybe reduce travel expenses. Do we have enough budget for our team this quarter? It's tight, but we can manage. Should we cut any costs? Maybe reduce travel expenses. Are you interested in a carpool arrangement? Yes, it would save time and is eco-friendly. I'll put together a schedule. Count me in for that. Are you interested in a carpool arrangement? Yes, it would save time and is eco-friendly. I'll put together a schedule. Count me in for that. Are you helping with planning the business trip? Yes, I'm coordinating the travel arrangements. Anything I can assist with? Could you help with the hotel bookings? Are you helping with planning the business trip? Yes, I'm coordinating the travel arrangements. Anything I can assist with? Could you help with the hotel bookings? What's the dress code for the upcoming event? It's formal business attire. So I should wear a suit? Yes, a suit would be appropriate. What's the dress code for the upcoming event? It's formal business attire. So I should wear a suit? Yes, a suit would be appropriate. Have you noticed the office internet being slow? Yes, it's been a bit sluggish. Should we report it to IT? I think that would be a good idea. Have you noticed the office internet being slow? Yes, it's been a bit sluggish. Should we report it to IT? I think that would be a good idea. 
How are we handing off his birthday? Celebrations now? We're doing a monthly group celebration. When is the next one? Next Friday during lunchtime. How are we handing off his birthday? Celebrations now? We're doing a monthly group celebration. When is the next one? Next Friday during lunchtime. Have you tried the new software? Not yet. Is it good? It's very user friendly. I'll give it a try. Have you tried the new software? Not yet. Is it good? It's very user friendly. I'll give it a try. Do you prefer coffee or tea? I'm a coffee person. What type of coffee? Just a plain black coffee. Do you prefer coffee or tea? I'm a coffee person. What type of coffee? Just a plain black coffee. Are you ready for the conference? Yes, I've prepared my presentation. Do you need any help? No, I'm all set. Thanks. Are you ready for the conference? Yes, I've prepared my presentation. Do you need any help? No, I'm all set. Thanks. What should I wear for the client meeting? Business casual is usually fine. So, no need for a suit? Right. A dress shirt and trousers will do. What should I wear for the client meeting? Business casual is usually fine. So, no need for a suit? Right. A dress shirt and trousers will do. Are you participating in the company charity event? Yes, I'm volunteering. What will you be doing? Helping to organize the activities. Are you participating in the company charity event? Yes, I'm volunteering. What will you be doing? Helping to organize the activities. Have you read the latest company policy update? Yes, I skimmed through it this morning. Anything important we should know? Just some changes in the leave policy. Have you read the latest company policy update? Yes, I skimmed through it this morning. Anything important we should know? Just some changes in the leave policy. Do we need more office space? I think we're managing well for now. Should we reorganize to create more room? That might be a good idea. Do we need more office space? I think we're managing well for now. Should we reorganize to create more room? That might be a good idea. Are you attending the office ergonomics session? Yes, I think it's important for our health. When is it? Next Wednesday in the conference room. Are you attending the office ergonomics session? Yes, I think it's important for our health. When is it? Next Wednesday in the conference room. Are you joining the company sports day? Yes, I'm playing on the soccer team. Sounds fun. I'll be cheering for you. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Are you joining the company sports day? Yes, I'm playing on the soccer team. Is the client visiting our office next week? Yes, they'll be here on Tuesday. Do we need to prepare a presentation? Yes, let's work on it together. Is the client visiting our office next week? Yes, they'll be here on Tuesday. Do we need to prepare a presentation? Yes, let's work on it together. My computer is really slow today. Have you tried restarting it? Yes, but it didn't help. Let me see if I can fix it. My computer is really slow today. Have you tried restarting it? Yes, but it didn't help. Let me see if I can fix it. Do you want to grab a coffee before work? That would be great. What time? How about a M? Perfect. See you then. Do you want to grab a coffee before work? That would be great. What time? How about a M? Perfect. See you then. I lost my phone in the office. Have you checked the lost and found? No, I'll go there now. I hope you find it. I lost my phone in the office. Have you checked the lost and found? No, I'll go there now. I hope you find it. Are you involved in any of the company's community projects? Yes, I'm part of the environmental campaign. What does it involve? Organizing cleanup drives and awareness programs. Are you involved in any of the company's community projects? Yes, I'm part of the environmental campaign. What does it involve? Organizing cleanup drives and awareness programs. How fast is IT support responding lately? Usually within a few hours. I have an issue with my laptop. You should contact them. They're quite helpful. How fast is IT support responding lately? Usually within a few hours. I have an issue with my laptop. You should contact them. They're quite helpful. Can we do a debrief after the client meeting? Sure, that would be helpful. When is a good time for you? How about right after the meeting?
Can we do a debrief after the client meeting? Sure, that would be helpful. When is a good time for you? How about right after the meeting? My computer keeps crashing. Have you reported it to IT? Not yet. I'll do it now. Let me know if they need to replace it. My computer keeps crashing. Have you reported it to IT? Not yet. I'll do it now. Let me know if they need to replace it. I need feedback on my presentation. I can review it after lunch. Please focus on the clarity and flow. Sure, I'll give you detailed feedback. I need feedback on my presentation. I can review it after lunch. Please focus on the clarity and flow. Sure, I'll give you detailed feedback. Have you set up your workspace ergonomically? Yes, it's made a big difference. Any tips on how to do it? Adjust your chair and monitor height to be comfortable. Have you set up your workspace ergonomically? Yes, it's made a big difference. Any tips on how to do it? Adjust your chair and monitor height to be comfortable. I heard our company is expanding. Yes, we're opening a new branch. Where is the new branch? In the next city over. I heard our company is expanding. Yes, we're opening a new branch. Where is the new branch? In the next city over. What facilities are available in the break room? There's a microwave, fridge, and coffee machine. Is there a vending machine? Yes, it was installed last week. What facilities are available in the break room? There's a microwave, fridge, and coffee machine. Is there a vending machine? Yes, it was installed last week. Are you going to the company event next month? I haven't decided yet. It's a good networking opportunity. True. I'll think about it. Are you going to the company event next month? I haven't decided yet. It's a good networking opportunity. True. I'll think about it. Did you sign up for the office first aid training? Not yet. Is it mandatory? It's not mandatory, but it's highly recommended. I'll sign up today then. Did you sign up for the office first aid training? Not yet. Is it mandatory? It's not mandatory, but it's highly recommended. I'll sign up today then. Is it just me or is the office really cold today? It does seem colder than usual. Could you adjust the thermostat? I'll check it right now. Is it just me or is the office really cold today? It does seem colder than usual. Could you adjust the thermostat? I'll check it right now. Did you hear about the office parking update? No. What's the update? They're expanding the parking lot. That's good news. It's been needed. Did you hear about the office parking update? No. What's the update? They're expanding the parking lot. That's good news. It's been needed. I need to leave early today. Is everything okay? Yes. Just a family appointment. No problem. Take care. I need to leave early today. Is everything okay? Yes. Just a family appointment. No problem. Take care. Have you contributed to the office sustainability efforts? Yes, I've been recycling more diligently. Any other suggestions? Reducing paper usage could be another step. Have you contributed to the office sustainability efforts? Yes, I've been recycling more diligently. Any other suggestions? Reducing paper usage could be another step. Did you get the office security update? Yes, they changed the door codes. When does it take effect? Starting next Monday. Did you get the office security update? Yes, they changed the door codes. When does it take effect? Starting next Monday. Can you call IT support? My computer is acting up. Sure, I'll call them now. Thank you. I hope it's nothing serious. Let's hope so. Can you call IT support? My computer is acting up. Sure, I'll call them now. Thank you. I hope it's nothing serious. Let's hope so. Are you participating in the company fitness challenge? Yes, I've joined the running group. How often do they meet? Every Tuesday and Thursday after work. Are you participating in the company fitness challenge? Yes, I've joined the running group. How often do they meet? Every Tuesday and Thursday after work. Have you enrolled any professional development courses? Yes. A course on digital marketing. How has it been so far? Really insightful and practical. Have you enrolled any professional development courses? Yes, a course on digital marketing. 
How has it been so far? Really insightful and practical. Are we doing Casual Friday this week? Yes, we are. Great, I'll wear my new jeans. Sounds good, see you then. Are we doing Casual Friday this week? Yes, we are. Great, I'll wear my new jeans. Sounds good, see you then. Ten years with the company. We should celebrate it. It's John's work anniversary tomorrow. Oh, how many years? Ten years with the company. We should celebrate it. It's John's work anniversary tomorrow. Oh, how many years? Are the office quiet zones being respected? Mostly, but sometimes reminders are needed. How should we remind people? Maybe a sign or a gentle verbal reminder. Are the office quiet zones being respected? Mostly, but sometimes reminders are needed. How should we remind people? Maybe a sign or a gentle verbal reminder. Are you planning the holiday party? Yes, any ideas for the theme? How about a winter wonderland? Sounds magical, I like it. Are you planning the holiday party? Yes, any ideas for the theme? How about a winter wonderland? Sounds magical, I like it. Are we getting a new office seating arrangement? Yes, it's being planned. Do we have any input on it? Yes, you can submit your preferences. Are we getting a new office seating arrangement? Yes, it's being planned. Do we have any input on it? Yes, you can submit your preferences. Are you participating in the office book exchange? Yes, I've already chosen a book. Which book did you pick? A mystery novel by Agatha Christie. Are you participating in the office book exchange? Yes, I've already chosen a book. Which book did you pick? A mystery novel by Agatha Christie. Are you going to the office networking event? Yes, I think it's a great opportunity. What's the agenda? It's mostly meet and greet with some presentations. Are you going to the office networking event? Yes, I think it's a great opportunity. What's the agenda? It's mostly meet and greet with some presentations. Should we start an office recycling program? That's a great idea. Can you help me set it up? Sure, happy to help. Should we start an office recycling program? That's a great idea. Can you help me set it up? Sure, happy to help. Should we explore new productivity tools for our team? That sounds like a great idea. Any tools in mind? Maybe something for project management. Should we explore new productivity tools for our team? That sounds like a great idea. Any tools in mind? Maybe something for project management. What do you think about the new office artwork? It's very vibrant and adds character. So you know who chose it? I think it was the office decoration committee. What do you think about the new office artwork? It's very vibrant and adds character. So you know who chose it? I think it was the office decoration committee. What's the latest on the work from home policy? We can now work from home two days a week. That's great. Do we need to inform anyone on those days? Just coordinate with your team leader. What's the latest on the work from home policy? We can now work from home two days a week. That's great. Do we need to inform anyone on those days? Just coordinate with your team leader. Have you updated your personal information in the HR system? Not yet. Is it urgent? They asked us to do it by next week. Okay, I'll make sure to do it. Have you updated your personal information in the HR system? Not yet. Is it urgent? They asked us to do it by next week. Okay, I'll make sure to do it. Should we review the office safety protocols? Yes, it's always good to be updated. When can we do this? How about during our next team meeting? Should we review the office safety protocols? Yes, it's always good to be updated. When can we do this? How about during our next team meeting? What's the dress code for the client meeting tomorrow? Business casual should be fine. So no need for a suit and tie. Right, a smart shirt and trousers will do. What's the dress code for the client meeting tomorrow? Business casual should be fine. So no need for a suit and tie. Right, a smart shirt and trousers will do.
66. Talking about travel preferences. When it comes to travel, do you prefer relaxation or adventure? I enjoy a mix of both, relaxing on a beach and exploring new places. That's a balanced approach. Have you been on any adventurous trips? I went on a backpacking trip through the Amazon rainforest once. Backpacking in the rainforest sounds intense. How was the experience? It was challenging but incredibly rewarding. Nature's beauty was breathtaking. I tend to lean more towards cultural experiences and historical sites. Exploring different cultures can be enlightening and enriching. It's all about finding travel experiences that resonate with us. 67. Discussing health and wellness goals. Prioritizing our health is crucial, especially in today's fast-paced world. Absolutely. Taking care of our physical and mental well-being is essential. Have you set any health goals for yourself recently? I've been focusing on getting enough sleep and practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness can have a positive impact on overall wellness. I've been exercising regularly. Exercise is a great way to stay fit and reduce stress. I also practice yoga. Yoga is wonderful for flexibility and relaxation. Let's encourage each other to stay healthy. Agreed. Accountability and support make a difference. 68. Talking about fashion trends. Fashion trends seem to change so quickly. They do, and it's interesting to see how styles evolve over time. Are there any current fashion trends that you like? I'm into oversized sweaters and high-waisted jeans right now. Those styles are comfortable and versatile. I've noticed athleisure becoming popular. Athleisure combines comfort and style, which is perfect for an active lifestyle. Fashion is a way to express ourselves and experiment with different looks. Absolutely, it's a form of self-expression. That can boost confidence. 69. Discussing dream careers. If you could have any job in the world, what would it be? I've always dreamed of being a marine biologist and studying ocean life. Exploring the mysteries of the ocean would be an amazing career. What about you? Do you have a dream job? I've always been passionate about photography and would love to be a travel photographer. Capturing stunning landscapes and cultures through photography sounds fulfilling. It's important to pursue careers that align with our passions and interests. Absolutely. Doing what we love brings a sense of purpose. 70. Discussing personal values. Our values shape our decisions and actions. True. They reflect what's important to us in life. What are some values you hold dear? Kindness, integrity, and empathy are at the top of my list. Those are admirable values. I value honesty and lifelong learning. Honesty and continuous growth are essential for personal development. Our values guide us in creating meaningful and purposeful lives. 71. Discussing cultural experiences. Have you had the chance to immerse yourself in a different culture? Yes, I spend a summer living with a host family in Japan. Living with a host family must have been a unique experience. It was, I learned it about their daily routines and traditions. I once participated in a traditional dance workshop during a trip to India. That's fascinating. Cultural workshops offer hands-on experiences. It's amazing how much we can learn from different cultures. Experiencing new cultural broadens our perspectives and enriches our lives. 72. Talking about current events. Staying informed about current events is important. Absolutely, it helps us understand the world around us. Have you been following any recent news stories? Yes, I've been keeping up with discussing on climate change. Climate change is a pressing issue that requires global attention. Indeed, it's important to be aware of social and environment challenges. Being informed empowers us to contribute positively to society. 73. Discussing favorite books. Reading is a wonderful way to escape and gain knowledge. I couldn't agree more. Books open up new worlds. Do you have any favorite books or genres? 
I enjoy mystery novels and historical fiction. Historical fiction allows us to travel back in time through stories. Exactly. What about you? Any favorite books? I'm a fan of science fiction. Imagining futuristic worlds is captivating. Science fiction often explores thought-provoking concepts. Seventy-four. Talking about daily challenges. Each day brings its own set of challenge, doesn't it? Absolutely. How we handle challenges defines our character. What's a recent challenge you faced? I had to give a presentation at work, which pushed me out of my comfort zone. Facing public speaking is a common challenge. How did it go? It was nerve-wracking, but I managed to deliver it confidently. Overcoming challenges build resilience and confidence. That's true. Challenges are opportunities for growth. Seventy-five. Discussing volunteer work. Volunteering is a rewarding way to give back to the community. I agree. It's a way to make a positive impact. Have you been involved in any volunteer projects? I've been volunteering at a local food bank to help those in need. That's admirable. Food banks play a crucial role in supporting communities. Volunteering also allows us to connect with others who share similar values. It's heartening to see people come together to make a difference. Seventy-six. Discussing personal interests. It's important to have hobbies that bring us joy, don't you think? Absolutely, hobbies are a way to unwind and explore our passions. What are some of your favorite hobbies or interests? I'm an avid cyclist and love exploring new biking trails. Cycling is a great way to stay active while enjoying the outdoors. And what about you? What hobbies do you enjoy? I'm really into gardening. I find it relaxing and rewarding. Gardening allows you to nurture and create beauty. That's wonderful. Seventy-seven. Talking about family vacations. Family vacations create lasting memories, don't they? They do. Spending quality time together is precious. Have you been on any memorable family vacations? We went on a road trip to the Grand Canyon. The views were breathtaking. Exploring natural wonders with family is a unique experience. Absolutely. Have you had any special family trips? We once visited charming coastal town and enjoyed beach activities. Beach vacations offer relaxing and fun for all ages. Seventy-eight. Discussing favorite films. Movies have the power to transport us to different worlds. They do. A well-made film can evoke strong emotions. Do you have any favorite movies or genres? I'm a fan of romantic comedies and heartwarming dramas. Romantic comedies provide light-hearted entertainment. I enjoy sci-fi films. Science fiction often sparks our imagination and explore futuristic concepts. Films offer a shared experience that can bring people together. That's true. Movie nights with friends are always enjoyable. Seventy-nine. Talking about personal growth. Reflecting on our personal growth. Can be enlightening. It's important to recognize how far we've come on our journey. What area of personal growth have you been focusing on? I've been working on being more patient and practicing gratitude. Patience and gratitude are qualities that enhance our well-being. I've been honing my communication skills. Effective communication is valuable in various aspects of life. Continuous self-improvement leads to a fulfilling and meaningful life. Absolutely, learning and growing are lifelong pursuits. Eighty. Discussing career aspirations. Our careers play a significant role in our lives. They do. Choosing a fulfilling career is important for our overall happiness. What career aspirations do you have for the future? I hope to become a professional graphic designer and work with creative teams. Graphic design is a dynamic field. That allows for artistic expression. I'm considering entrepreneurship. Starting your own business requires determination and innovation. It's about pursuing our passions and making a positive impact. Eighty-one. Discussing outdoor activities. Spending time outdoors can be so refreshing, don't you think? Absolutely. Nature has a way of rejuvenation our spirits. What outdoors activities do you enjoy? 
I love hiking and camping in the mountains. Hiking allows you to connect with nature and get some exercise. And you, any favorite outdoor activities? I enjoy picnics in the park and going for leisurely bike rides. Picnics are a delightful way to relax and enjoy good food. 82. Talking about life lessons. Life teaches us valuable lessons along the way. Indeed, every experience contributes to our personal growth. What's a significant life lesson you've learned? I've learned the importance of embracing change and adapting. Adapting to new circumstances is a valuable skill. I've learned the power of resilience. Resilience allows us to bounce back from challenges. It's a crucial trait. Reflecting on life lessons helps us navigate future situations. 83. Discussing dream destination. If you could travel to any dream destination, where would it be? I've always dreamed of exploring the historic cities of Europe. Europe has rich history and stunning architecture. I'd love to visit Australia's Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is a natural wonder known for its vibrant marine life. Exploring diverse ecosystems would be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I've always wanted to see the Northern Light in person. Witnessing the Northern Lights is on many people's bucket lists. It must be magical. Dream destinations inspire us to venture beyond our comfort zones. 84. Talking about social media usage. Social media has become a significant part of our lives. It has transformed the way we connect and share experiences. How do you manage your social media usage? I set time limits and prioritize face-to-face -face interactions. Setting boundaries is important. I sometimes find self-scrolling mindlessly. It's easy to get up in the virtual world. I've been using social media for networking. Social media offers great networking opportunities, especially professional. Balancing online interactions with real-life connections is key. 85. Discussing personal values. Our values guide us in making important decisions. Absolutely. They serve as our moral compass. What's a value that you hold dear? Empathy. I believe in treating others with kindness and understating. Empathy is a powerful value. I value integrity and honestly. Upholding integrity builds trust and fosters strong relationships. Our values shape the kind of people we strive to be. 86. Discussing favorite travel memories. Traveling allows us to create unforgettable memories, doesn't it? Absolutely. Each trip brings new experience and stories. Do you have a favorite travel memory that stands out? I'll never forget the time I explored ancient ruins in Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, a marvel of history and architecture. I once had an amazing wildlife encounter in Africa. Wildlife encounters can be truly remarkable. What did you see? I was on a safari and got to see elephants and lions up close in their natural habitat. That must have been an incredible adventure. Travel memories stay with us forever. 87. Talking about personal challenges. Overcoming challenges is an integral part of personal growth. It's through challenges that we discover our strengths. What's a challenge you faced recently? I had to learn a new software program at work, which was quite daunting. Learning new skills can be challenging, but it's rewarding in the end. I've been working on time management. Effective time management is crucial for productivity. How's it going? I've been using techniques like the Pomodoro method to stay focused. Finding strategies that work for you is key to overcoming challenges. 88. Discussing favorite cuisine. Exploring different cuisines is like a culinary adventure. Absolutely. Food is a wonderful way to experience diverse cultures. Do you have a favorite type of cuisine? I'm a fan of Italian cuisine, pasta, and pizzas are my weaknesses. Italian food is known for its delicious flavors. I love typing Thai cuisine. Thai cuisine offers a perfect blend of sweet 
sour and spicy flavors. Sharing meals with loved ones enhances the dining experience. That's true. Food brings people together and creates lasting memories. 89. Talking about dream achievements. Dream achievements give us something to strive for. They motivate us to work hard and pursue our passions. What's a dream achievement you have in mind? I've always dreamed of writing a book and getting it published. Writing a book is a significant accomplishment. I've dreamt of starting a non-profit organization. Creating positive change through a non-profit is an admirable goal, dream. Achievements push us to reach higher. 90. Discussing leisure activities. Finding time for leisure activities is essential for relaxation. It's a way to recharge and enjoy the present moment. What leisure activities do you enjoy in your free time? I love practicing yoga and meditating to unwind. Yoga and meditation promote inner peace. I find solace in reading. Reading is a wonderful escape into different worlds and perspectives. Engaging in leisure activities nurtures our well-being. 91. Discussing cultural diversity. The world is so diverse with rich cultures and traditions. It's fascinating how different societies have unique ways of life. Have you had the chance to experience cultural diversity firsthand? Yes, I traveled to India and was captivated by its vibrant culture. India is known for its diversity and traditions. I once attended a multicultural festival. Multicultural festivals showcase the beauty of various cultures coming together. Embracing cultural diversity promotes understanding and unity. 92. Talking about relaxation techniques. Relaxation techniques are essential for managing stress. They help us find moments of calm in our busy lives. What relaxation techniques do you practice? I enjoy deep breathing exercises and guided meditation. Deep breathing can have an instant claiming effect. I've been practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness keeps us grounded in the present. I find solace in nature walks. Connecting with nature is a wonderful way to find tranquility. 93. Discussing career advancements. Career advancements often come from hard work and dedication. Absolutely. It's rewarding to see our efforts pay off. Have you experienced any significant career advancements? I recently got promoted to a managerial role at my company. Congratulations, climbing the corporate ladder takes determination. I'm working on expanding my skill at Continuously learning and growing opens doors for career opportunities. True, embracing challenges and seeking growth leads to success. 94. Talking about memories concerts. Attending live concerts can be an exhilarating experience. Music has a way of uniting people and creating unforgettable memories. Do you have a favorite concert you've been to? I'll never forget seeing my favorite band perform live on their world tour. Live performances add an extra layer of connecting with the artists. I once attended a music festival. Music festivals being together diverse artists and fans for a vibrant celebration. The energy of a live performance is unmatched. 95. Discussing sustainable living. Sustainable living is important for the well-being of our planet. It's crucial to adopt eco-friendly practice in our daily lives. What sustainable habits have you incorporated? I've been reducing single-use plastics and opting for reusable alternatives. Small changes like that can make a big difference. I've been supporting local farmers markets. Buying locally supports the community and reduces our carbon footprint. Embracing sustainable living is a collective effort. 96. Talking about personal achievements. Reflecting on our achievements can boost our self-confidence. Embracing sustainable living is a collective effort. What's a personal achievement you're proud of? I successfully ran a marathon after months of training. Running a marathon is a remarkable fear of endurance. 
I recently learned a new language. Learning a new language opens doors to new cultures and connections. Celebrating our achievements, big or small, is important for self appreciation. 97. Discussing weekend plans. Weekends are a great opportunity to unwind and recharge. Indeed, it's a time to do things we enjoy. What are your plans for the upcoming weekend? I'm planning to go hiking and have a picnic in the mountains. Hiking sounds like a refreshing way to spend your weekend. I'm going to a live theater performance. Enjoying live performances is a cultural and artistic experience. Weekends offer a chance to engage in activities that bring us joy. 98. Talking about environmental awareness. Raising awareness about environmental issues is crucial. It's important to educate others and take collective action. How do you contribute to environmental awareness? I participate in local cleanup initiative and promote sustainable practices. Taking action at the community level has a ripple effect. I've been reducing my energy consumption. Conserving energy helps reduce our carbon footprint. We all play a part in protecting the planet. 99. Discussing childhood dreams. Childhood dreams often shape our aspirations as adults. They ignite our imagination and set the course for our future. What was a childhood dream you had? I dreamt of becoming an astronaut and exploring space. Space exploration is an exciting aspiration. I dreamt of becoming a wildlife biologist. Studying and preserving wildlife is a noble pursuit. Childhood dreams reflect our passions. 100. Talking about favourite seasons. Each season has its own charm and beauty, don't you think? Absolutely. They bring distinct changes to the environment. What's your favourite season? I love the vibrant colours of autumn and the cooler weather. Autumn's foliage is indeed picturesque. I'm a fan of spring. Spring signifies renewal and growth, which is uplifting. Every season has its unique appeal. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notification of our new videos and also comment. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of our new videos and also comment. Can you help me? Of course. What do you need? Can you help me? Of course. What do you need? Do you speak English? Yes, I speak a little English. Do you speak English? Yes, I speak a little English. How was your day? It was good, thanks. How was your day? It was good, thanks. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one brother. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one brother. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. What time is it? It's 3.30 p.m. What time is it? It's 3.30 p.m. What's your name? My name is Sarah. What's your name? My name is Sarah. Do you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets. Do you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets. How old are you? I'm 25 years old. How old are you? I'm 25 years old. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thanks. What's your favorite sport? I enjoy playing soccer. What's your favorite sport? I enjoy playing soccer. What do you do? I'm a student. What do you do? I'm a student. Where do you live? I live in New York City. Where do you live? I live in New York City. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's the weather like today? It's sunny and warm. What's the weather like today? It's sunny and warm. What's your favorite food? I love pizza. What's your favorite food? I love pizza. Do you enjoy reading? Yes, I love reading books. Do you enjoy reading? Yes, I love reading books. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Shawshank Redemption. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Shawshank Redemption. Where did you go on your last vacation? I went to Thailand. Where did you go on your last vacation? I went to Thailand. What's your favorite music genre? I like listening to rock music. What's your favorite music genre? I like listening to rock music. What's your favorite animal? I love dolphins. 
What's your favorite animal? I love dolphins. Are you married or single? I'm single. Are you married or single? I'm single. What's your favorite season? Favorite season is summer. What's your favorite season? Favorite season is summer. Do you play any musical instrument? Yes, I play the guitar. Do you play any musical instrument? Yes, I play the guitar. What's your favorite book? My favorite book is To Kill a Mockingbird. What's your favorite book? My favorite book is To Kill a Mockingbird. Can you speak any other languages? Yes, I speak Spanish. Can you speak any other languages? Yes, I speak Spanish. What's your dream job? I want to be a pilot. What's your dream job? I want to be a pilot. Have you ever been to a concert? Yes, I have been to many concert. Have you ever been to a concert? Yes, I have been to many concert. Do you like to cook? Yes, I enjoy cooking. Do you like to cook? Yes, I enjoy cooking. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. Can you swim? Yes, I can swim. Can you swim? Yes, I can swim. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog named Max. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog named Max. What's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show is Friends. What's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show is Friends. Have you ever climbed a mountain? Yes, I have climbed Mount Everest. Have you ever climbed a mountain? Yes, I have climbed Mount Everest. Can you ride a bicycle? Yes, I can ride a bicycle. Can you ride a bicycle? Yes, I can ride a bicycle. What's your favorite type of music? I enjoy listening to classical music. What's your favorite type of music? I enjoy listening to classical music. Do you enjoy dancing? Yes, I love dancing. Do you enjoy dancing? Yes, I love dancing. Have you ever tried skydiving? No, I haven't tried skydiving. Have you ever tried skydiving? No, I haven't tried skydiving. Can you drive a car? Yes, I can drive a car. Can you drive a car? Yes, I can drive a car. What's your favorite dessert? I love chocolate cake. What's your favorite dessert? I love chocolate cake. Do you like to take photographs? Yes, I enjoy photography. Do you like to take photographs? Yes, I enjoy photography. Have you ever ridden a horse? Yes, I have ridden a horse. Have you ever ridden a horse? Yes, I have ridden a horse. Can you play chess? Yes, I can play chess. Can you play chess? Yes, I can play chess. What's your favorite season of the year? My favorite season is spring. What's your favorite season of the year? My favorite season is spring. Do you enjoy hiking? Yes, I love hiking. Do you enjoy hiking? Yes, I love hiking. Have you ever been to a museum? Yes, I have been to many museums. Have you ever been to a museum? Yes, I have been to many museums. Can you do a handstand? No, I can't do a handstand. Can you do a handstand? No, I can't do a handstand. What's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is mango. What's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is mango. Do you like to go camping? Yes, I enjoy camping. Do you like to go camping? Yes, I enjoy camping. Have you ever seen a live concert? Yes, I have seen many live concerts. Have you ever seen a live concert? Yes, I have seen many live concerts. Can you juggle? No, I can't juggle. Can you juggle? No, I can't juggle. What's your favorite type of cuisine? I love Italian cuisine. What's your favorite type of cuisine? I love Italian cuisine. Do you enjoy gardening? Yes, I find gardening relaxing. Do you enjoy gardening? Yes, I find gardening relaxing. Have you ever tried surfing? No, I haven't tried surfing. Have you ever tried surfing? No, I haven't tried surfing. Can you don a cartwheel? No, I can't do a cartwheel. Can you don a cartwheel? No, I can't do a cartwheel. What's your favorite drink? My favorite drink is coffee. What's your favorite drink? My favorite drink is coffee. Do you like to go fishing? 
Yes, I enjoy fishing. Do you like to go fishing? Yes, I enjoy fishing. Have you ever tried skiing? Yes, I have tried skiing. Have you ever tried skiing? Yes, I have tried skiing. Can you whistle? Yes, I can whistle. Can you whistle? Yes, I can whistle. What's your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is playing the guitar. What's your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is playing the guitar. Do you enjoy painting or drawing? Yes, I love painting. Do you enjoy painting or drawing? Yes, I love painting. Have you ever been on a cruise? Yes, I have been on a cruise. Have you ever been on a cruise? Yes, I have been on a cruise. Can you solve a Rubik's cube? No, I can't solve a Rubik's cube. Can you solve a Rubik's cube? No, I can't solve a Rubik's cube. What's your favorite flower? My favorite flower is the rose. What's your favorite flower? My favorite flower is the rose. Do you like to go to the beach? Yes, I enjoy going to the beach. Do you like to go to the beach? Yes, I enjoy going to the beach. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yes, I have been to many zoos. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yes, I have been to many zoos. Can you do magic tricks? No, I can't do magic tricks. Can you do magic tricks? No, I can't do magic tricks. Can you do magic tricks? No, I can't do magic tricks. What's your favorite type of dance? My favorite type of dance is salsa. What's your favorite type of dance? My favorite type of dance is salsa. Do you enjoy playing video games? Yes, I love playing video games. Do you enjoy playing video games? Yes, I love playing video games. Have you ever gone bungee jumping? No, I haven't gone bungee jumping. Have you ever gone bungee jumping? No, I haven't gone bungee jumping. Can you do a backflip? No, I can't do a backflip. Can you do a backflip? No, I can't do a backflip. What's your favorite type of movie? I enjoy watching comedies. What's your favorite type of movie? I enjoy watching comedies. Do you like to go for long walks? Yes, I find long walks relaxing. Do you like to go for long walks? Yes, I find long walks relaxing. Have you ever visited a famous landmarks? Yes, I have visited the Eiffel Tower. Have you ever visited a famous landmarks? Yes, I have visited the Eiffel Tower. Can you do yoga? Yes, I practice yoga regularly. Can you do yoga? Yes, I practice yoga regularly. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor is chocolate. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor is chocolate. Do you enjoy playing board games? Yes, I love playing board games. Do you enjoy playing board games? Yes, I love playing board games. Have you ever gone scuba diving? Yes, I have gone scuba diving. Have you ever gone scuba diving? Yes, I have gone scuba diving. Can you do a somersault? No, I can't do a somersault. Can you do a somersault? No, I can't do a somersault. What's your favorite type of art? I enjoy contemporary. What's your favorite type of art? I enjoy contemporary. Do you like to go shopping? Yes, I enjoy shopping. Do you like to go shopping? Yes, I enjoy shopping. Have you ever been on a hot air balloon ride? No, I haven't been on a hot air balloon ride. Have you ever been on a hot air balloon ride? No, I haven't been on a hot air balloon ride. Can you do a magic trick? No, I can't do a magic trick. Can you do a magic trick? No, I can't do a magic trick. What's your favorite type of cuisine? I love Mexican cuisine. What's your favorite type of cuisine? I love Mexican cuisine. Do you enjoy going to parties? Yes, I love going to parties. Do you enjoy going to parties? Yes, I love going to parties. Have you ever gone rock climbing? Yes, I have gone rock climbing. Have you ever gone rock climbing? Yes, I have gone rock climbing. Can you do a handstand push-up? No, I can't do a handstand push-up. Can you do a handstand push-up? No, I can't do a handstand push-up. What's your favorite type of music concert? I enjoy attending jazz concerts. What's your favorite type of music concert?
I enjoy attending jazz concerts. Do you like to go for bike rides? Yes, I enjoy going for bike rides. Do you like to go for bike rides? Yes, I enjoy going for bike rides. Have you ever visited a famous museum? Yes, I have visited the Louvre Museum. Have you ever visited a famous museum? Yes, I have visited the Louvre Museum. Can you do a backbend? No, I can't do a backbend. Can you do a backbend? No, I can't do a backbend. What's your favorite type of book? I love reading mystery novels. What's your favorite type of book? I love reading mystery novels. Do you enjoy going to the theater? Yes, I love watching live performances. Do you enjoy going to the theater? Yes, I love watching live performances. Have you ever gone ziplining? Yes, I have gone ziplining. Have you ever gone ziplining? Yes, I have gone ziplining. Can you do a headstand? No, I can't a headstand. Can you do a headstand? No, I can't a headstand. What's your favorite type of comedy? I enjoy watching slapstick comedy. What's your favorite type of comedy? I enjoy watching slapstick comedy. Do you like to go for picnics? Yes, I enjoy having picnics. Do you like to go for picnics? Yes, I enjoy having picnics. Have you ever traveled alone? Yes, I have traveled alone. Have you ever traveled alone? Yes, I have traveled alone. Can you do a handstand walk? No, I can't do a handstand walk. Can you do a handstand walk? No, I can't do a handstand walk. How much does this cost? It costs ten dollars. How much does this cost? It costs ten dollars. What's your name? My name is Sarah. What's your name? My name is Sarah. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. What do you do for a living? I'm a nurse. What do you do for a living? I'm a nurse. How old are you? I'm 25 years old. How old are you? I'm 25 years old. How old are you? I'm 25 years old. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one brother. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one brother. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is tacos. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is tacos. What is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is playing basketball. What is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is playing basketball. How do you usually get to work? I usually drive to work. How do you usually get to work? I usually drive to work. What time is it? It's 2:30 p.m. What time is it? It's 2:30 p.m. What day is it today? It's Tuesday. What day is it today? It's Tuesday. What is the weather like today? It's sunny and hot. What is the weather like today? It's sunny and hot. What is the weather like today? It's sunny and hot. What did you do today? Today I worked on cars at the shop. What did you do today? Today I worked on cars at the shop. What are you doing right now? Right now I'm answering your questions. What are you doing right now? Right now I'm answering your questions. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Dark Knight. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Dark Knight. Do you like to exercise? Yes, I like to go for runs in the morning. Do you like to exercise? Yes, I like to go for runs in the morning. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the dog. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the dog. What did you get for lunch today? I had a turkey sandwich and chips for lunch today. What did you get for lunch today? I had a turkey sandwich and chips for lunch today. What is your favorite season? My favorite season is summer. What is your favorite season? My favorite season is summer. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog named Max. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog named Max. What did you do last weekend? Last weekend, I went on a 
Camping trip with some friends. What did you do last weekend? Last weekend, I went on a camping trip with some friends. What is your favorite music? My favorite music is hip hop. What is your favorite music? My favorite music is hip hop. What is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show is Breaking Bad. What is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show is Breaking Bad. What is your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school was math. What is your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school was math. What do you like to do for fun? I like to play video games and hang out with friends. What do you like to do for fun? I like to play video games and hang out with friends. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Have you ever traveled to another country? Yes, I've been to Mexico and Canada. Have you ever traveled to another country? Yes, I've been to Mexico and Canada. Do you speak English? I only speak very little English. Do you speak English? I only speak very little English. What's your name? I'm Ben. What's your name? I'm Ben. How old are you? I'm 22. How old are you? I'm 22. When's your birthday? It's the 2nd of October. When's your birthday? It's the 2nd of October. When's your birthday? It's the 2nd of October. Where are you from? I'm from England. Where are you from? I'm from England. Where do you live? I live in London. Where do you live? I live in London. So you like it here? Yes, I love it. So you like it here? Yes, I love it. What do you like about it? I like the food. What do you like about it? I like the food. Who do you live with? I live with my parents. Who do you live with? I live with my parents. Do you live on your own? I live on my own. Do you live on your own? I live on my own. What brings you to England? I study here. What brings you to England? I study here. Why did you come to the UK? I came here to study. Why did you come to the UK? I came here to study. How long have you lived here? A few months. How long have you lived here? A few months. How long are you planning to stay here? Another year. How long are you planning to stay here? Another year. How do you know each other? We're at university together. How do you know each other? We're at university together. What do you like doing in your spare time? I like listening to music. What do you like doing in your spare time? I like listening to music. Do you play any sports? Yes, I play football. Do you play any sports? Yes, I play football. Which team do you support? I support Manchester United. Which team do you support? I support Manchester United. Do you play any instruments? Yes, I play the guitar. Do you play any instruments? Yes, I play the guitar. What sort of music do you like? Pop. What sort of music do you like? Pop. What do you study? I'm studying history. 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 Which university are you at? I'm at Liverpool University. Which university are you at? I'm at Liverpool University. Which year are you in? I'm in my first year. Which year are you in? I'm in my first year. Do you have any exams coming up? I've just graduated. Do you have any exams coming up? I've just graduated. Did you go to university? I didn't go to university. Did you go to university? I didn't go to university. Where did you go to university? I went to Cambridge. Where did you go to university? I went to Cambridge. What did you study? I studied maths. What did you study? I studied maths. Where did you go? School? I went to school in Bristol. Where did you go? School? I went to school in Bristol. What do you want to do when you've finished? 
Go traveling. What do you want to do when you've finished? Go traveling. What's the date today? The 15th of October. What's the date today? The 15th of October. Have you ever been to Italy? Yes, I went there on holiday. Have you ever been to Italy? Yes, I went there on holiday. How long will I have to wait? About 10 minutes. How long will I have to wait? About 10 minutes. How long will you be staying for? Two nights. How long will you be staying for? Two nights. What sort of room would you like? I'd like a single room. What sort of room would you like? I'd like a single room. How would you like your steak? Medium. How would you like your steak? Medium. Would you like anything else? Nothing else, thank you. Would you like anything else? Nothing else, thank you. Would you like anything else? Nothing else, thank you. How long will it take? It'll take about 20 minutes. How long will it take? It'll take about 20 minutes. Was everything all right? Thanks, that was delicious. Was everything all right? Thanks, that was delicious. How much would you like? Two pounds. How much would you like? Two pounds. What kind of accommodations are you looking for? I'm looking for an apartment. What kind of accommodations are you looking for? I'm looking for an apartment. How many bedrooms do you want? It's got two bedrooms, a kitchen, a living room, and a bedroom. How many bedrooms do you want? It's got two bedrooms, a kitchen, a living room, and a bedroom. What floor is it on? It's on the second floor. What floor is it on? It's on the second floor. Could I see your ticket, please? I've lost my ticket. Could I see your ticket, please? I've lost my ticket. How many would you like? The money? In tens, please. How many would you like? The money? In tens, please. Taking a bus. Dialogue 1. Does this bus get to Washington Square? Oh, no, you should take the number 50 to Tramca. Thank you, where can I take it? Two blocks down the street. What's the stop called? International Fair Center. But I don't know which stop, I should get off. You can get off in three more stops. Three more stops. The sign will say Washington Square, get off there. Dialogue 2. Welcome to our bus. Excuse me, is this the right bus for Lingian Temple? Yes, it's No. 7 bus. Do I have the change? No, Lingian in Temple is the terminal of this bus. How much is the ticket? It's 2 yuans. Please drop your money into the box and be seated in the rear. When we get there, I'll let you know. Thank you. You're welcome. Taking the subway. Dialogue 1. Can I help you? What should I do with the token? You put it in the slot at the turnstile, and then push the turnstile to get into the platform. By the way, how can I get out of the platform after I get off the train? That's very easy. The exits are always open, and there are signs. You'll see. Dialogue 2. Which train do I take to the fifth circle? Take the uptown C train and get off at the sixth station. How about the transfer? You can ask the officer when you buy ticket. And where can I get the train? Just go down those steps. Thank you very much. Taking a taxi. Dialogue 1. Hi, taxi. Please hop in dot 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 where to? Guanhua Hotel, please. Okay, put this baggage into the trunk, please. Do you think you can get me here within half an hour? I think we can get there in time if there are no holdups. Are you in a hurry? Yes, I have an appointment at PM. You'll be there in plenty of time, don't worry. Dialogue 2 let me off in front of Park Hotel. Okay, here we are. What's the fare? $25.
Here is the money, keep the change, please. Oh, thanks a lot. Taking a train. Dialogue 1. Second class, return to London, please. That's £25, please. Here you are. When does the train for London depart? You'd better hurry. It leaves in five minutes. I don't think I can make it. When is the next train for London? At p.m. Thank you. I'll take that one. Dialogue 2. Is this car 5? Yes, get in please. Where's my berth, please? It's over there. Let me show you. Where shall we put out suitcases? On the overhead rack. Oh, it's full. Put them under the berth. Missing the train or bus. Dialogue 1. Which is the train to Yellowstone Park? Sorry, I'm afraid the train to Yellowstone Park just left. Oh, my God, I missed the train. No problem. The train to Yellowstone Park leaves per hours. You can take the next one. Good. Will I take it in the same platform? No, the next train will stop at the third platform. Do I need buy another ticket? No, you don't. Thank you. Dialogue 1. Can you do me a favor? I was with the Grey. Lintour, and I've missed the bus. What should I do? Which tour were you on? Tour 1, the full day sightseeing tour. I see. Well, I'm sure that bus stops at the Century Plaza, so you catch it there. Great, I'll take a taxi. I'd catch a local bus if I were you. It leaves from the bus stop on the comer by the bank. Great, I'll take a taxi. Number three, the Century Plaza stop is either the sixth of the seventh. Ask the driver. Okay, thank you very much. Hope you catch it. Getting off. Dialogue one. Excuse me, what is the next station? Chinatown. Is this where I get off? Where are you going? Fujo Restaurant. Right here, it's a just near the stop. Okay, thank you. Dialogue 2. What did you say your stop was? The Fifth Avenue. The Fifth Avenue? You are past your stop. You should have gotten off at the last stop. Should I, but you didn't call me. Sorry, there are too many people. I forget it. Is it far from here? Don't worry, you can get off at the next stop and walk back. It's just a couple of blocks. What is the next stop? It's City Square. Renting a car. Dialogue 2. I went to rent a car for one week. Okay, no problem. What type do you have in mind? Do you have any Japanese cars? Mid-size SUV? Yes. Let me see, we have a Honda Odyssey. Is that okay? Great, what's the rate per day? It's $50 plus tax per day. Unlimited mileage. I'm going to keep it for five days. Can I see your driver's license? Sure, here is my driver's license. Please sign here. Dialogue 2. How many people will be driving the car? Only me. Do you offer insurance on the rental car? Yes, we do. Do you want insurance? I'd like full insurance. Good. The insurance for one person is $2 a day. All right. Can I return the car at another one of your agencies? Yes. Just make sure to show them your driver's license and they will be able to pull all your information from the computer. Okay. Here is our emergency roadside service. Phone number. If you have any problems, just call and someone will come pick you up. Parking. Dialogue 1. Hi. Any spot left? Yes. There are still plenty of spots. What is the parking fee per hour here? 10 yuan an hour. How much would be if I parked here? For an hour and ten minutes, it. 
20 yuan, sir. We change by the number of hours. I see. Thanks. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, sir. Is this your car? Yeah. What's wrong? I'm afraid you've parked in the wrong spot. Oh. Really? Isn't this spotty 1 to 3? No, it's F123, my parking space. Yours is over there. I'm sorry, I must have been confused. I'll move my car right away. It's no big deal. Being fined for violation. Dialogue 1. Excuse me, may I see you driver's license? Yes, here it is. Any violation, officer? You were speeding. I'm sorry, I don't know the speed limit of this zone. This is a 35-mile zone and you were. Diving 45, there is your citation. Please read the instructions on it and go to pay the fine. Okay, may I have my driver's license now? Here you go, be careful from now on. I'll keep it in mind, thank you. Dialogue 2 Hey boy, get off, please. You were just running a red light. Was I? I didn't see the red light. Did you? Look, it's behind you. Now please show me your license. Here is my license. I have to give you a penalty ticket. How much will I be fined for running a red light? The citation is $392 plus traffic school. Fee $40, that will be $432. Oh dear, you know I'm a visitor here, so I'm quite strange to this place. Will, in that case I will let you go. Please pay attention to the traffic regulations here. Thank you very much. I will be careful next time. Traffic accidents. Dialogue 1. Oh, my God. Are you all right, miss? Thank goodness. I'm just all right. I'm very sorry I hit you, and I hope that the damage to your car isn't serious. The left front side is dented. We should call the police. Don't worry. I will call the cop at once. All right. May I have your plate number? Sure. I'll write it down on my business. Card. Any my insurance will pay for this. They contact you soon. Thanks. Anyway, I feel really sorry for this. Dialogue 2. Hello? 911. Can I help you? It's an emergency. I was in a car accident. Where did it happen? What street are you on? East Hilton Drive. Stay right there. We'll be there in five minutes. Could you call an ambulance for me? My friend was hurt. Okay. To the hotel. Dialogue 1. Could you have a taxi pick me up and take me to your hotel before 1 p.m.? What is your place, sir? Place Airport. Which terminal will you be at? No, two. Okay, someone will be there at 12.15. What are your rates? It is $2 initially and 35 cents for each quarter mile. I have for very large suitcases. Will those fit in the taxi? No, I'll send a larger vehicle to pick you up. Dialogue 2. Hello. Hilton Hotel, my name is... Ed Chen, I would like to request a pickup from the airport. Certainly, sir. Please exit the terminal and go to the pickup spot just outside the door. I will radio a driver to meet you. How long will it take? About 10 minutes. How long is the ride to the hotel? Traffic is backed up today, so it will take about 30 minutes. Sorry about that. No problem. Thank you. Checking in with reservation. Dialogue 1. I'd like to check in. 
May I have your name? Yes, Li Ming. Do you have a reservation with us, sir? Yes, I do. Mr. Li Ming, your reservation is for a double room for tonight's, right? That's right. Could you fill out the registration card, please? All right. How would you like to settle your bill? By credit card. Okay, your room number is 25 on the third floor. Have an enjoyable stay. Dialogue 2 My name is James Books. I have a reservation. I'm sorry, Mr. Books. You had planned to arrive at about 6 tonight, but it is near midnight now, so we can't sold your reservation. Yes, I didn't have a chance to call you. Do you have any other rooms available? We only have an executive suite available now. How much are those? Dove hundred fifty dollars a night. That's pretty expensive, but I guess I've not choice. But I want to change rooms tomorrow. Leading to the room. Dialogue one. Here we are. This is your room. The bathroom is here. Are there any extra blankets? Sometimes I feel caught at night. You can call the chambermaid and ask her for that. Okay. And can I have some ice? There's a machine near the elevator. Just help yourself. If you need anything else, please call room service. Thank you. This is for you. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your visit. Dialogue 2 Well, what do you think of the room? It's very pleasant and it's also cool. I love the color scheme. White and blue are cool colors and, of course, the room is air-conditioned. There is plenty of hanging space in these. Fitted wardrobes, in fact more than I shall need. Perhaps you'll need it when you buy the lovely clothes. By the way, you have a telephone on the bedside table. That's very convenient as you can phone whenever you want. I'm going to enjoy it. The bathroom is over there and we have a 24 hours hot and cold water sup. Laundry service. Dialogue 1. Hello, Mama. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? Can I have the laundry done today? Certainly, sir. Can you fill out the laundry from first, please? Okay. Here you are. That's fine, thank you. By the way, where is your laundry? Here. Is the laundry back? Any more? No. Do I then leave it outside my room? No, leave it inside and someone will pick it up. When will it be ready? Tomorrow morning. Dialogue 2 I'd like to have this laundry done. Could you fill out the laundry form? Okay, I want to have this sweater washed by hand in cold water. It might shrink otherwise. By hand in cold water, I understand. And I'd like this garment dry cleaned, please. Okay. Anything else? Do you have a mending service for clothes? I'd like the dress mended. Yes, we can mend them. When will they be ready? We will deliver them tomorrow evening, around 6 p.m. Room service. Dialogue 1. What time do you begin your service in the morning? We usually start from 7, but if you have special needs, you can tell the front desk the night before. Oh, but dot dot. Well, you can also tell me now. We'll send your food over at your requested time. Very good. Could you send to American breakfast to our room at 6 tomorrow? Morning. We must leave the hotel before 7. No problem, so room 1005. To American breakfast, 6 tomorrow morning. That's right. Dialogue 2. Room service, may I help you? Can I still get something to eat at? 
This time of night? What would you like? I'll have a sandwich and a hot chocolate. What kind of sandwich would you like? We have steak, cheese, ham, salami, tuna, chicken. I'll take the tuna, please. No problem, sir. May I have your name and your room number? This is Bob Jackson, room 801. Good. I'll be up in a couple of minutes. Morning call service. Dialogue 1. Will you do me a favor, miss? Certainly, sir. I wonder if your hotel has the morning call service. Yes, sir. Would you like a morning call? Yes, I must get up earlier tomorrow. At what time do you want me to call you up, sir? At 6 sharp tomorrow morning, please. By phone or by knocking at the door? By phone. Okay, I'll tell the operator to call you up at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Anything else I can do for you? No, thanks. Dialogue 2. Room services, can I help you? I'm going to New York early. Tomorrow morning, so I would like to request an early morning call. No problem. At what time would you like to call tomorrow morning? At 6 sharp tomorrow morning, please. By phone or by knocking at the door? By knocking at the door, I usually have a deep sleep. Okay, so we will wake you up at 6.00 tomorrow morning. Housekeeping Dialogue 1 Housekeeping. May I clean your room now, madam? Come in, please. Good morning, madam. Good morning. What about tidying up a bit in this bathroom? We've had a bath, and it's quite a mess. Okay. I'd clean the toilet bowl, wash basin, and tub, then put some fresh towels there. And we need two more pairs of bath slippers. All right, I get off at 10.30 a.m., but I will. Tell the daytime attendant to send them up. Thank you, and the children have just played on the bed, so please change our sheets and pillowcases. No problem. I will tidy it up. You've seen so helpful. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Housekeeping, may I come in? Oh, sorry, I haven't even got up yet. When would you like me to do your room? Could you come back in an hour? I'm sorry to disturb you. If you need clean your room, please call DTS or SHOCKP or hand the make up the room card. I will. Thank you. Maintenance service. Dialogue 1. Is this the maintenance department? This is room for 103. Yes. What is it, sir? The TV set in my room doesn't work. Have you checked the plug? They get pulled out sometimes. Yes, I checked that, and this is the second. Time that it hasn't worked. I'm sorry. I'll send someone right up to have check. Thank you. Dialogue 2. Room service, may I help you? This is from room 208. I'm afraid that the teething system doesn't work. It's very cold here. Have you switched it on the radiator? Yes, I have switched it on for almost half an hour. The room is still very cold. We're terribly sorry for that. We'll send our staff to fix it now. Or do you want to change your room? I prefer not to move first. Okay. Is it convenient for us to come now? Yes. Please. Offline service. Dialogue 1. Hello, Mr. Wang. Yes. What is the matter? Oh, you have a message note here. Who's it from? A Mr. Lee. He said he's your friend in New York, and he wanted you to call him back as soon as possible. 
Let me see. Oh, it's Tom. Did he say anything else? No, nothing else. All right. Thank you very much. Dialogue 2. This is Johnson in room 218. Yes, Mr. Johnson. Any messages for me? Just a moment, sir. Yes, Mr. Johnson. There's a message for you. Who is it from? It's from John Simmons, S I M M O N S. Will you read it to me, please? He said, I will come to your hotel tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. What time did Mr. Simmons call? Did he leave his phone number? At 10.30 this morning, his home phone. Number is 57162322. Is there anything else, sir? No, thank you. Goodbye. Barber Service. Dialogue 1. Good morning, sir. I'm the top stylist here. Take a seat, please. Thank you. I want a haircut, please. Very well. And how would you like your haircut, sir? Just a trim and cut the sides fairly short, but not so much at the back. Nothing off the top. Well, a little off the top. How about the front? Leave the front as it is. Okay. Do you want me to trim your mustache? Yes, please. Dialogue 2. What would you like, permanent wave, cold wave or washed and dressed? A shampoo and set, please. Would you like a new hairstyle or just keep it the way you have it now? I'm ready for a new hairdo. Do you have any suggestions? Perhaps you should go even shorter. I'll leave it up to you. Like I said, I'm ready for a change. I've had it this way for so long and I'm getting tired to it. Okay, you should also get highlights put in. I'm worried it will make my hair look I unnatural. No, no, that would be very subtle. Making complaints. Dialogue 1. Operator. Yes, may I help you? I've been trying to get through to the front desk for the last five minutes. Their line is always busy. Why did it take so long? I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. During peak hours, the line is often engaged. Shall I ask them to call you back when the line is free? Thank you. Dialogue 2. Could I see the manager, please? I have a complaint. Can I help you, madam? Yes, I checked in your hotel on Wednesdays during my staying here. Something made me feel uncomfortable. I'm all ears. First when I check in, the receptionist complained that I didn't make a reservation, but is it necessary to make reservation for each time? No, it's not necessary. Second, in the guest room, some facilities had problems, some light couldn't turn on, and there is not hot water in the washroom, and TV channels are to limited. I'm sorry to hear that. The last, the service for guest room was too slow, and staff was in a bad service attitude. I'm terribly sorry to hear that. I'll attend to it immediately. Checking out. Dialogue 1. I would like to pay the bill. I'll be right with you, Mr. House. Have you made any long-distance calls, please? Yes, last night to Rome. How would you like to take care of it? Can I pay my bill with a traveler's check? I'm sorry, sir. We only accept RMB or a credit card. That being the case, I'll pay with American Express. Of course, sir. If you would just check the additional changes and sign, that will be everything. Everything seems to be in order. Here is your receipt. We hope you will stay with us again. Dialogue 2 
Good morning. We'd like to check out now, please. May I have your room number, please? Certainly. This is room 501. We'll send someone up to help you with your luggage right away. Could you tell me which is better to go, to the airport, by bus or by taxi? I recommend a taxi if you are in a hurry. How long does it take to the airport by taxi? About half an hour. Can you call a taxi for me? OK, please wait a minute. Other requests. Dialogue 1. Reception, may I help you? I've lost my room key when I went out. Will you open it for me? But do you have another key to your room? The extra key? Oh, sorry, I left in my room. In that case, I can send up the bellboy with a master key. What is your room number? 1205. Where are you? I'm right outside my room. I'll send someone to open the door. In a minute, you may wait upstairs now. Dialogue 2. Good evening. Can I help you? Good evening. I'm Li Jing in room 102. I wonder if it is possible for me to extend my stay for two days. I'll take a look at the hotel's booking. Situation. Yes, I'm glad that we'll be able to. Accept your extension request, but I'm afraid you have to change room for the last two nights. You see, we have already let your room to someone else. Is that okay? Yes, no problem. Let me see dot 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 room 210 will be vacant. How about that room? That is fine. The new occupant will be checking in A, little after 12 tomorrow. That means I have to move out before 12. Well, I think I will move at 10.30. Introduce yourself. Hello, I am Anna. I am 18 years old. My mother's name is Jessica and my father's name is Richard. I live with my parents. All the members of our family are well educated. I live in New York City with my family. It is a very beautiful city in the United States. My mother is a housewife, and my father is a doctor. They are a very kind person. They love me a lot. I have one younger brother. My brother single quotes as dot name is David. He is studying in class three. We live in our own house dot dot IT is beautiful with a big lawn and a small garden. I go to my school by bus. It comes every day at the gate of my house. It is about 7 km away from my home. My brother and me, we are in the same school. We go to school together every day. After I come back from my school, I fresh my hand and face then. I eat some snacks and after that, take rest a little bit. We go to play. I take care of flowers and plants for a while. My brother also helps me at this time. I am a good student in my class. My teachers are really good. They love me and take care of me. I go to school regularly. I never miss my school. That's why teachers like me. In our school, we play different kinds of games like badminton, handball, volleyball, etc. I love to play all the games. I also participate in the competition. I won lots of medals. I have so many friends in my school. I have one best friend and her name is Julie. I like her because we do everything together. My best friend is is very intelligent. She also helps me to solve math. Sometimes she comes to my house. I also go to her house on holiday. I plan to be a doctor. I want to help poor people who cannot afford lots of money for their treatment. I want to give free treatment to poor people. This is my first and last dream in life. I will study so hard so that I can feel full on my goal. I also want to make proud of my parents. 
They also encourage me to complete my dream. They are very understanding parents. My parents always tell me to do what I like. My parents always tell me to do what I like. They have lots of expectations from me. I feel very sad when I see poor people who cannot get proper treatment having financial problems. I want to survive the poor people, especially when I will be a doctor. Barber Service Dialogue 1 Good morning, sir. I'm the top stylist here. Take a seat, please. Thank you. I want a haircut, please. Very well. And how would you like your haircut, sir? Just a trim and cut the sides fairly short, but not so much at the back. Nothing off the top. Well, a little off the top. How about the front? Leave the front as it is. Okay, do you want me to trim your mustache? Yes, please. Dialogue 2 What would you like, permanent wave, cold wave or washed and dressed? A shampoo and set, please. Would you like a new hairstyle or just keep it the way you have it now? I'm ready for a new hairdo. Do you have any suggestions? Perhaps you should go even shorter. I'll leave it up to you. Like I said, I'm ready for a change. I've had it this way for so long, and I'm getting tired to it. Okay, you should also get highlights put in. I'm worried it will make my hair look I unnatural. No, no, that would be very subtle. Making complaints. Dialogue 1. Operator. Yes, may I help you? I've been trying to get through to the front desk for the last five minutes. Their line is always busy. Why did it take so long? I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. During peak hours, the line is often engaged. Shall I ask them to call you back when the line is free? Thank you. Dialogue 2. Could I see the manager, please? I have a complaint. Can I help you, madam? Yes, I checked in your hotel on Wednesdays during my staying here. Something made me feel uncomfortable. I'm all ears. First when I check in, the receptionist complained that I didn't make a reservation, but is it necessary to make? Reservation for each time. No, it's not necessary. Second, in the guest room, some facilities had problems, some light couldn't turn on, and there is not hot water in the washroom, and TV channels are too limited. I'm sorry to hear that. The last, the service for guest room was too slow, and staff was in a bad service attitude. I'm terribly sorry to hear that. I'll attend to it immediately. Checking out. Dialogue 1. I would like to pay the bill. I'll be right with you, Mr. House. Have you made any long-distance calls, please? Yes, last night to Rome. How would you like to take care of it? Can I pay my bill with a traveler's check? I'm sorry, sir. We only accept RMB or a credit card. That being the case, I'll pay with American Express. Of course, sir. If you would just check the additional changes and sign, that will be everything. Everything seems to be in order. Here is your receipt. We hope you will stay with us again. Dialogue 2 Good morning. We'd like to check out now, please. May I have your room number, please? Certainly. This is room 501. We'll send someone up to help you with your luggage right away. Could you tell me which is better to go? To the airport, by bus or by taxi? 
I recommend a taxi if you are in a hurry. How long does it take to the airport by taxi? About half an hour. Can you call a taxi for me? Okay, please wait a minute. Other requests. Dialogue 1. Reception, may I help you? I've lost my room key when I went out. Will you open it for me? But do you have another key to your room? The extra key? Oh, sorry, I left in my room. In that case, I can send up the bellboy with a master key. What is your room number? 1205. Where are you? I'm right outside my room. I'll send someone to open the door. In a minute, you may wait upstairs now. Dialogue 2. Good evening. Can I help you? Good evening. I'm Li Jing in room 102. I wonder if it is possible for me to extend my stay for two days. I'll take a look at the hotel's booking. Situation. Yes, I'm glad that we'll be able to. Accept your extension request, but I'm afraid you have to change room for the last. Two nights, you see, we have already let your room to someone else. Is that okay? Yes, no problem. Let me see dot 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 room 210 will be vacant. How about that room? That is fine. The new occupant will be checking in A, little after 12 tomorrow. That means I have to move out before 12. Well, I think I will move at 10.30. Jewelry. Dialogue 1. May I help you find something, sir? I'm looking for a ring. Tell me a little bit about what you want. We have all shapes, sizes, qualities, and price ranges. Well, my price range is $3,000 too. $5,000, I'm looking for a marquise cut on a wide band. You just have a good taste. Let me show you what we have. I'd like to take a look around, some more. Okay, take your time, and if you have any other questions, just call me. Dialogue 2 can I be of any assistance to you, madam? Please show me this pearl necklace. Yes, here it is. Cultured pearls. Yes. Okay, I like it. They are just beautiful. I'll buy it. Today is just weekend and all. The jewelry is on sale. That's great. How much is this one? $1,000. Is it tax-free? Yes, for tourists. I'll take it. Then I'll wrap it for you. Art works. Dialogue 1. Good afternoon, sir. Could I be of any service? Good afternoon. I'd like to buy a cloison vase. Yes, sir. Just over there. I'd like a medium-sized cloison vase with a light blue background. How do you like this one? The background is pale blue with traditional Chinese paintings of mountains and rivers. It's gorgeous. How much is it? 150 yuan. That is too much. Can you come down a little bit? I can give you a 20% discount. I will take it if you can take 50 yuans off the price. All right, you can have it at this price. This price is reasonable. I will take it. Here is the money. Thank you. Dialogue 2. Can I help you? I want to get this reproduction of Mona Lisa. How much is it? The marked price is 700 yuans. That's too much. I'll take it if you. Give me a 50% discount. Well, I can just take 100 yuans off the price. All right, I will take it. Could you mount it for me? No problem. I will do that for you.
you can come to pick it up tomorrow afternoon. Okay, be sure to pack it well. Electronic products. Dialogue 1. Good morning, can I help you? I want an iPod, please. What about this one? It's handy and only $60. Do you have a cheaper one? Have a look at this one. It's only $50. How do I switch it on? Press the play button on top and turn up the volume knob. I see. It sounds very good. I'll take it. Dialogue 2 Hello, could you show me that Canon autofocus camera? Okay, here you are. How much does it cost? $169. It's too much. Can you reduce the price? It depends. How many do you want? I will buy three if you can give me a lower price. Wait a minute. I'll ask our manager. Okay. If you buy there, we can reduce the price to 150. Well, I will take three. Leather wear. Dialogue 1. I'm looking for handbag as a gift. We just received a shipment of several different styles handbags. Would you show me the white handbag? Here you are. You're in luck. This is the only one left. White is popular this season. Yes, I believe it is, but there is a stain here. We have something that might interest you. I'm anything better. Look at this one. What do you like it? Wow, I've never seen such a nice handbag. I'll take this one. Let me ring this up for you at the register. Dialogue 2. Are you being attending to, madam? Well, I'm just looking for something for my husband. What would you recommend? Would you please come over here, madam? I'd like to show you. Fancy waistband. They are made of leather of kangaroos and crocodiles. Oh. They look so elegant. I like the light brown one. May I have a look at it? Sure. It is the latest fashion. It's simple. Style makes it easier to go with different clothes. That's it. I think he will be satisfied to have it. Cosmetics. Dialogue 1. What can I do for you, sir? Yes, it's my first visit here. I need to get my fiancé some Chanel. Please look at these, all of these, from Chanel. Wow, too many to choose. I recommend you this. The smell is nice. Is it a typical Paris perfume? Yes, this kind of perfume is elegant. Its smell and the fragrance lasts long. Okay, could you get me the 1.7 ounces bottle? That will be my pleasure. I'll wrap the perfume up in a gift box for you, too. Thank you for your consideration. Dialogue 2 I'm looking for some blesser. Do you have some in peach rose? Oh, yes, I have two left. Here you are. This is a beautiful color. It has been very popular blush this season. Great, I'll take one. Do you need anything else? No, thank you. Women's clothes. Dialogue 1. Can I help you, madam? Yes, I want to buy a dress. What about this kind of dress in, Chanel? It's one of our biggest sellers. It looks nice. Do you have this in size 6? Sorry, it's one size that fits all, but I think it fits you. Let me see. Do you think a cream one will fit me? Well, 
The cream one is beautiful indeed, but I think the black one will suit you better. Really, please get it for me. Follow me and I'll take you to the fitting room. If you need any help, let me know. I'll be sure to. Dialogue 2 Do you have any gowns for about $50? Yes, we do have some new arrivals that many interest you. I'm looking for something special. Would you like this design in red? It's on sale now. The gown feels very well. How much is it? $45. Is this made of pure silks? Yes, it is. It's velvet and brilliant. Is it washable? Yes, it is, but you have to be careful. But I don't like the color. How about the lavender one? Good, may I try it on? Certainly. Men's clothes. Dialogue 1. Good morning, I'm looking for a tie. Our ties are over here next to coats and jackets. May I see these TIs? Yes, certainly. Here's a nice looking. One, a special color of Hawaii. Yes, it is attractive, but I think it's a little too loud. Let me see that gray and blue one. This one. Yes, that's the one. It's very nice. I'll take it. Okay, do you need packing? No, it's just for myself. Dialogue 2 Can I help you? I want a leather jacket. What color did you have in mind? Cocky green. What size, please? Size 40. Let's see. Yes, here's a size 40. Would you like to try it on? Yes, please. This is a little too big. Do you have something smaller? Sure. Try this size 39. Yes, this fits very well. I'll take it. It'll be 15% of the price. You've got a good deal. That is good. Thank you. Shoes. Dialogue 1. Can I help you? I'm looking for a pair of black shoes. What size do you want? Size 9. I'm afraid we haven't got any black shoes. In that size at the moment, but we have got brown ones. Um, that is fine too. What about that pair over there? Reasonable. Can I try them on? Certainly, here is the shoe lifter. Thank you. Um, they seem a little bit tight. Here is a larger size. Dialogue 2 What can I do for you, sir? I'd like some leather shoes. Okay, what's your size? I don't know American sizes. No problem, put your foot here. Let me see. Yes, you're a six. Just a moment, please. Here you are. These are very comfortable. Try these on. Yes. They're very nice, but I want slip-ons. How about these? They don't have laces. Try them. Fine, I'll take these. Duty-free goods. Dialogue 1 How do we go about purchasing things in this catalog? You can order them here on the plane, or visit one of the duty-free shops in the airport when we land. How much is this Remy Martin VSOP? It's $45. It's our special offer today. Okay, I'd like five bottles. Sorry, there is a limit on some of the items. You are limited to purchase only three bottles of wine or liquor. Well, let me have three. Dialogue 2 Good afternoon. Can I help you? I'd like to get something duty-free here. Okay, sir. Would you please show me your 
passport and your air ticket? Sure. Here you are. Do you know how? Much liquor I'm allowed to take away from America. Up to two bottles per person. Okay, I will take these two. You will receive our check for duty, exempted in about two months. Can I take those items now? Sorry, you can't. We will send them to the airport. Reserving a table. Dialogue 1. Good morning, the good boy. Restaurant, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a table for dinner. What time would you like your table, sir? I'm not sure, about 5 o'clock p.m. Okay, how many in your party? A party of four. Then I'll reserve a table for 4 at 5 p.m., sir. May I have your name, please? Yes, Wang Hong. Thanks, goodbye. Dialogue 2 I'd like to make a reservation for tonight. For how many people, please? Five adults and two children. For what time, please? About 7.30 this evening. How much do you want to spend? About $20 per person. We'd like to sit together. Okay, and may I have your name? Yes, Jordan. And put us as close as possible to the window, please. I would not be sure, but I'll try my best. Taking a seat. Dialogue 1 Good evening, sir. Welcome to our restaurant. Have you made a reservation? Yes, I have booked a table for four. Here is the reservation list. My name is Dong. We have chosen a window table for you. This way, please. Will this table be all right, sir? Certainly. It's quite good. Thank you. You are welcome, sir. This separate room has a very good view of the city. This room is near the band platform. Is it going to be very noisy when the band plays some music? Oh, don't worry, sir. The sound of the music is quite soft. Will not bring you any inconvenience. Could you stay and listen to it for a while? If you don't like it, I'll find another table for you. Is that okay? That's great. You really give good service indeed. Dialogue 2 My name is Lisa. I made a reservation of table for three. Yes, madam. Would you like a table? In the smoking or non-smoking section? In the non-smoking section, please. Come this way, please. Here we are. Oh, it's a nice private room with a beautiful view. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Ordering food. Dialogue 1. Here's your menu. Could you tell us about the special of the day? We have coconut shrimp served with rice and a side salad. We also have prime. Rib, only $8 per person, including salad. Choice of potato or rice and a roll. I think I'll just have your prime rib with rice. Would you like appetizers or a salad to go with that? Yes, I'll take salad. Dialogue 2 Would you like an appetizer to start with? I'd like to try the egg salad. That's good. And then? 
I'm going to try oysters florentine. Well, what about the entree? What is this one, Dover Sol Chablis Ian? That's sold with mushroom and small butter. That sounds nice. I'll have that. Okay. Hurrying the waiter to serve up. Dialogue 1. Here is the sole salad. Is it yours? Yes, it's ours, and we have ordered. Another dish Italian style, fired bacon rolls. It's coming. We have an appointment at noon. Will you tell the cooks to hurry up? Certainly. Thank you very much. Dialogue 2 Excuse me? Yes. Our food seems to be taking a long time, doesn't it? We ordered half an hour ago. But our meal hasn't arrived yet. We have to leave pretty soon. I'm sorry. I'll see what's happened. Thank you. Service during the meal. Dialogue 1 Do you enjoy the dish? Yes, it's really good. Would you like more? Oh, yes, just more share. Yes, I will get you right away. By the way, please give me a glass of water. Okay, I'll bring it right away. Anything else? Can I have a doggy bag? I want to take the beef home. Sure, I will wrap it up for you. Dialogue 2 It doesn't taste right to me. It's too weak. Could you get me some salt? Sure, will that be all? And we want to share this food. Could you bring some small plates? Just a minute. Here are your salt and to smell plates. Thank you very much. Always at your service. Please enjoy your meal. Having fast food. Dialogue 1. That looks good. I'll have a hamburger. The works? No, just lettuce and tomatoes. Anything to drink? A large Coke. That'll be $1.60. Here's your number. Should I wait at the counter or find a table to sit down? Just wait here. It will be ready in three minutes. Dialogue 2 Hey guys, what'll it be? I'd like a double cheeseburger, fries, and a shake. And I'll have a fillet of fish. A chicken burger, larger tossed salad, onion rings, and a shake. What flavors would you like for your shakes? Strawberry. Tropical fruit. Altogether, that'll be $6.98. Here's a 10. Is that for here or to go? For here. Here's your change $3.02. Two Thank folks. Enjoy. Drinking in the bar. Dialogue 1 I'll have a bottle of the stronger one, please. Certainly, air. Here you are. And a large scotch, please. On the rocks, sir? No, thanks. Anything else, sir? 
Yes, something non-alcoholic for me, please. A tonic water, fruit juice or a ginger, ale perhaps? Tomato juice, please. Dialogue 2 A pint of bitter, please, bartender. I'm sorry, sir, but we only have two types of beer. The medium strength beer and the export beer. Which is better? Well, the export beer is stronger, but both are the light larger type they are. Bottled, I'm afraid we do not have draft beer. I'll have a bottle of the stronger on, please. Certainly, sir. Here you are. Paying the bill. Dialogue 1 Are you all through, sir? Yes. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, everything was very good. Can I have my bill, please? Yes, one moment, please. Here you are, sir. Here is $70. Keep the change, please. Thank you. Please come again. We will. Bye. Dialogue 2 Did you enjoy your dinner, Mama? Oh, very much. Just excellent. I'd like to play my bill. Yes, Mama, your bill comes to point two eight to francs. Do you mind if I pay it with a credit card? I'm sorry, Mama, we do not honor credit cards here. Oh, I see, then I'll pay in cash. And what's the exchange rate today? It's 9.5 francs to a dollar. Here is $30. Keep the change. Thank you. Your receipt is here. Please come again. Thank you. Barber Service Dialogue 1 Good morning, sir. I'm the top stylist here. Take a seat, please. Thank you. I want a haircut, please. Very well. And how would you like your haircut, sir? Just a trim and cut the sides fairly short, but not so much at the back. Nothing off the top. Well, a little off the top. How about the front? Leave the front as it is. Okay. Do you want me to trim your mustache? Yes, please. Dialogue 2 what would you like, permanent wave, cold wave or washed and dressed? A shampoo and set, please. Would you like a new hairstyle or just keep it the way you have it now? I'm ready for a new hairdo. Do you have any suggestions? Perhaps you should go even shorter. I'll leave it up to you. Like I said, I'm ready for a change. I've had it this way for so long and I'm getting tired to it. Okay, you should also get highlights put in. I'm worried it will make my hair look I unnatural. No, no, that would be very subtle. Making complaints. Dialogue 1. Operator. Yes, may I help you? I've been trying to get through to the front desk for the last five minutes. Their line is always busy. Why did it take so long? I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. During peak hours, the line is often engaged. Shall I ask them to call you back when the line is free? Thank you. Dialogue 2 Could I say the manager, please? I have a complaint. Can I help you, madam? Yes, I checked in your hotel on Wednesdays during my staying here. Something made me feel uncomfortable. I'm all ears. First when I check in, the receptionist 
complained that I didn't make a reservation, but is it necessary to make reservation for each time? No, it's not necessary. Second, in the guest room, some facilities had problems, some light couldn't turn on, and there is not hot water in the washroom, and TV channels are to limited. I'm sorry to hear that. The last, the service for guest room was too slow, and staff was in a bad service attitude. I'm terribly sorry to hear that. I'll attend to it immediately. Checking out. Dialogue 1. I would like to pay the bill. I'll be right with you, Mr. House. Have you made any long-distance calls, please? Yes, last night to Rome. How would you like to take care of it? Can I pay my bill with a traveler's check? I'm sorry, sir. We only accept RMB or a credit card. That being the case, I'll pay with American Express. Of course, sir. If you would just check the additional changes and sign, that will be everything. Everything seems to be in order. Here is your receipt. We hope you will stay with us again. Dialogue 2 Good morning. We'd like to check out now, please. May I have your room number, please? Certainly. This is room 501. We'll send someone up to help you with your luggage right away. Could you tell me which is better to go, to the airport, by bus or by taxi? I recommend a taxi if you are in a hurry. How long does it take to the airport by taxi? About half an hour. Can you call a taxi for me? Okay, please wait a minute. Other requests. Dialogue 1. Reception, may I help you? I've lost my room key when I went out. Will you open it for me? But do you have another key to your room? The extra key? Oh, sorry, I left in my room. In that case, I can send up the bellboy with a master key. What is your room number? 1205. Where are you? I'm right outside my room. I'll send someone to open the door. In a minute, you may wait upstairs now. Dialogue 2. Good evening. Can I help you? Good evening. I'm Li Jing in room 102. I wonder if it is possible for me to extend my stay for two days. I'll take a look at the hotel's booking. Situation. Yes, I'm glad that we'll be able to. Accept your extension request, but I'm afraid you have to change room for the last. Two nights, you see, we have already let your room to someone else. Is that okay? Yes, no problem. Let me see dot 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 room 210 will be vacant. How about that room? That is fine. 